You asked earlier too why why these results are useful. Um, they're useful. It's useful to also know the results for your partner. Mm. You know, because then you know what motivates them. So, for example, if you have a partner who it who is not particularly engaged in novel and exciting things, it could e easily be that they're low in openness or low in extroversion. You need to understand that that's part of their temperament and not them just being arbitrarily difficult to get along with. Right. But it also helps you motivate people and understand them. Like if you're married to an introvert, <coughs> if you're married to a, sorry. No, it's okay. You caught it from me. It's, it can even be caught by Skype. Yeah. yeah, I should have never, should have never come on this damn show. <laughs> <Never>. <laughs> So like if there it is, that was a smirk at the beginning. You were waiting. I got it now. OK, yeah, yeah, let it out. Yeah. Let it out. Well, if so, if you're if you're in a relationship, there's going to be places where you have conflict because of your temperament mm -hmm. and understanding that the other person's actually different from you can depersonalize that to some degree. So, for example, if you're an extrovert and you're married to an introvert, you need to understand that the introvert actually can't tolerate too much social contact. It exhausts them. And so when your partner has had enough of the party or even enough of your house guests and needs to go be by themselves for a while, it's not because they're being mean or ignorant or, 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 or difficult to get along with or any of those things. It's just that they are wired so that they need time to recoup by themselves. Yeah. And if you're an, a disagreeable person and you're married to an agreeable person, one of the things you have to learn is to not be too pushy and harsh because the agreeable person won't do a very good job of negotiating for themselves. Now, they'll do a really good job of taking care of you, and they might do a really good job of taking care of children, although they could they could also foster their dependency, which is the downside of, of agreeableness. Yeah. But it can alert you to the fact that you may have to modify your behavior to take the other person's temperament into account. So how do I just convince my wife on the openness, like the, the Vietnamese sex hammock? Uh, what, what's the, is there like a process? That's on the, that's on the perversion scale. That's on the perversion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, now see, I, I, I'm I, seeing I, I, you high in the judgmental scale, Dr. Peterson. Yeah, I'll have my I am very, very high, very high. Uh, I'm okay. judging you as, <laughs> yes. as I sit here. All of you, in fact. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. You. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so this, this is not a judgment-free zone. But, and now you've made that public. She's going to be very happy with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's a thing. It's just a colloquial. See, now that's point. exactly it. You're impolite. You make that comment about your wife, and now you feel guilty about it because you're all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's, Nailed that's, it. That's, 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 that